the day I had the stroke, when I had to get up from the couch, by the time I was standing up, I was already tired. The pain was unbearable. The fear itself was unbearable. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know how to breathe anymore. I was trying to remember my kids' face, to remember that I did the best I could as a dad, and I woke up at the ER. I just remember that doctors were telling me they are trying to, to save me. But I just couldn't avoid to think that you didn't know how to control your weight through all your life. So uh, today, today you die. The doctor told me you have to live a completely new life if you want to live for the next five years at least. I didn't want to be just remembered by pictures or by anecdotes. I wanted to be a present father, uh, an influential father but I knew I couldn't do it alone. I started to go to a neurologist, and on the first session, she told me that this was not my fault, that obesity is a disease that was multifactorial. It changed my life, and I knew I had to share that with someone, and that was the first day that I picked up the microphone and I talked about it on social media. I started my podcast, called Pláticas de Peso, because I found that I needed myself to learn more and to share. If I talk with the experts, I will learn from the experts. But above all, I have learned to ask for help. You take the weight off your shoulders and starting just to focus in improving yourself. But you feel better when you speak. Before my stroke, I didn't talk. I didn't talk about my emotions. I didn't talk about my needs. I was pretty secured in my house. I was living in a cave. I didn't want to be seen. Why would I expose myself to the pain of fat phobia or weight bias? But now I'm starting to feel I fit in the world. And I'm not saying that people with obesity don't fit in the world because they do. It's just that we feel that we don't. It's fun to be surrounded by people that care about you and you discover that there's much more people than you counted on. <laughs> it's not about being thin, it's just about being yourself again. Because as obesity is a disease, it's not your real self. I still discover me, myself, every day. I have a long way to go, but it's a joyful, joyful path. I'm looking forward to see what's next and what this life in movement gives to me.